This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in a Tesla Model 3 without the yoke wheel. <laughs> no, but um, I want to give you guys some more information about the yoke wheel because um, I've been emailing this uh, police friend I have and uh, he's been digging some facts and all this stuff, checking with the authorities. Uh, so I feel that, okay, he did some great work and we should also uh, I should also give you guys all the information about how it is in Norway at least. Um, so um, uh, what uh, my friend said that uh, the yoke wheel from EV offer is illegal in Norway to use in a Model 3 or Model Y. Uh, we don't know how it's going to be with the refresh Model uh, 3 or Model S and X. That's a different story. But if you put one of these wheels like I did actually, what I did was illegal. <laughs> so yes, but uh, my middle name is barely legal. Um, and also not only that, but um, so it, it, the, the, the yoke wheel is not type approved for Model 3 and Model Y. And then if something is not type approved, you could get it uh, like individually approved, but it will not get uh, most likely it's not going to be possible to even get it approved at, we call it Staten's Weyvassen. I'm going to use some of the Norwegian terms here because I think many Norwegians will uh, will check this, but Staten's Weyvassen is some kind of authority for uh, road, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, and uh, also the problem is that there is no documentation from independent lab about the, the yoke wheel. Uh, for example, the German TUV or something. Uh, so they, they need um, they need information or documentation about uh, the safety of the wheel, about the strength of it, about airbag mount and several things. As long as there is documentation, then you can get it type approved. So the EV offer is illegal in Norway. It says it's in the law that if you change something in the vehicle that is considered vital, then uh, it must be approved. For example, just uh, chrome delete or something like that or well, yeah, I guess it depends but if you just uh, put cover on the white seats that that's not vital but steering wheel is pretty vital so that's why uh, and also my police friend mentioned that um, uh, the OMP wheel that many many years ago OMP wheels were that's a third party wheel was very popular I never heard of it before but I guess you guys know about this uh, so the OMP wheel were extremely solid and also very popular uh, and it had all the improvement uh, all the uh, approval with documentation uh, but also because it was so well done, it was also very expensive, but it was well known in the racing, uh, uh, you know, racing groups and everything like that. Um, and then, of course, some companies, uh, some Asian companies started copying OMP wheels without any documentation and they didn't make it strong enough like the original. So there's actually a video on YouTube of some guys testing their fake OMP wheel and they may managed to bend the wheel with just the bare hands. So <laughs> that's not good, is it? So that might me wonder, hey, so the yoke wheel that I tried how safe was it really? Ooh, it's good that I didn't get in an accident or something, right? Uh, because if you get caught, even if you ignore this and you go very legal and you put the wheel because you want to look cool or something, or you think that it's safer or you think it's better for ergonomics, uh, and you get pulled over by the police or when you have the, they have some control or start this way, uh, then what you will get in Norwegian is called mangelap or something like, like it's not approved. It's not, uh, yeah. Uh, and then you need to show up at uh, at the road authorities, or they call it um, uh, yeah, way station, traffic station, uh, with the original wheel installed. Uh, and then also uh, other consequences when using the illegal wheel is that um, if you are involved in an accident uh, and the cause of the accident was related to the yoke, uh, then you will most likely not be allowed to use the car uh, and they also might take the license plate off the car <laughs> until you fix it um, and then I guess um, we don't know what other consequences it will have for uh, for uh, insurance for example because you actually modify the car maybe the insurance company say ah sorry Mac you you messed up your car so uh, you, this is on you <laughs> you had to pay out of your own pocket um, um, because um, actually according to Norwegian law um, a steering wheel doesn't have to be round but it needs to be safe uh, uh, that was the yeah um, and for example 
uh, clothes or jewelry or something else, you know, can't get stuck in the wheel when you're using it for normal maneuvers. And I guess other safety also is basically it needs to be safe. Uh, and well, I, I didn't find it there uh, that the lack of roundness is actually also um, a lack of safety because I've tried it before in, in uh, more critical maneuvers. You need to be able to grab the wheel at any angle uh, to turn it. And like I've shown before, it tends to slip. I try to grab the imaginary wheel. It, it's not safe regardless, even if something would not be able to accidentally hook onto it. It's just the fact that it's not round. That was, <laughs> no, no, no. So at least now you guys know how it is in Norway. And I gave you guys more information. Uh, my f police friend dug deeper into this and he gave me uh, very reliable information. Uh, so I would strongly advise you to not install yoke wheel in a Model 3 or Y in Norway at least, but also <laughs> how it is in other, other countries. I guess who cares, right? If it's Texas, it's completely Texas, but you guys know what I think about the yoke wheel. It's not safe. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not it's not safe and it's not practical for me, at least when I tried it. I don't know, actually, and um, all those people who commented, how many of you guys did actually try a yoke wheel in a Model 3 or why? If you claim that it's good because I couldn't find it good at all. There was tiny bit of advantage maybe with a holding position like this versus something like this. But other than that, really, they are just disadvantages. So. Um, Yes, um, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.